A silo collapse stops light rail traffic at South Boulevard at Remount Road. Good evening. I'm Sonia Gant. And I'm Bobby Sisk. Right now, all traffic stopped on links northbound and southbound of Remount Road. This is a look at a map of the area. That silo is adjacent to a condo construction complex called the Silos on South, under construction now. Let's get right to WCNC's Tony Burbeck for what he's learned about this breaking news. Tony. Yeah, Bobby, literally within the last couple of seconds, some very heavy pieces of machinery now here on the scene to try to at least get this cleaned up a little bit. While these have shown up over where the messes, if you will, crews are shoveling a massive pile of dirt and gravel off of the north and southbound lines. Yeah, folks, it's Friday, it's rush hour, there's a huge concert tonight, and Cass does not know when the tracks will be fixed. Let's go ahead and take a live look now from the scene from Airstar. What happened? An 80-foot silo right next to the track fell. It was in the, be, in the process of being demolished, but obviously that was not the plan. The southbound tracks are warped, and some of the stakes have come up as well. Southbound track has sustained uh, the greatest damage. Northbound track does have uh, a kink in it. We're working on hopefully possibly getting that track back up as quickly as we can. Uh, as far as the distance, I don't have the exact distance, but uh, I would estimate probably somewhere around 60 to 80 feet. So what's happening to get people home that usually take the line? Well, Katz is busing people past this accident scene so they can pick up the light rail line either further now, further north or further south from this site. They've also got some buses uh, out at 45 because of the big uh, country concert tonight, taking them from the 45 station and bringing them into town. We're live now in Charlotte with the Mobile Newsroom. Tony Burpack, Carolina News Connection. Well, that accident has tied up a lot of Friday afternoon commuters. WCNC's Melissa Martin has their story as we continue our breaking news coverage. Melissa? Sonia, we've talked to a lot of people out here, and I can tell you some people are downright frustrated. Some people are understanding. One thing everyone can agree on, they hate that this happened on a Friday. We're at the East-West Transit Station where, if you can see, that is the light rail line, and people are getting off the light rail if they're headed southbound. And then they're boarding these buses you see right here that will take them to the New Bern Station so they can get back on the light rail and then get home. Now let's take a look at some video we shot just a little while ago from Airstar. You can see a large crowd waiting to board the bus. Eight buses are running right now every few minutes, and people are literally packing inside with standing room only. 12,000 people ride the light rail on average each day, so you can imagine this is quite an undertaking to get everyone home, and some of them are not too happy. Type of accident, and they were going to... Uh, Get transfer, transfer us onto buses when we got to a certain point. And when we got to the certain point, we would go on the buses down to another station and then go further south. And I think that's a little bit of an inconvenience, but things happen. <laughs> and if you're headed into Uptown tonight, you can still ride the light rail, but you need to know that you will have to get off at the New Bern Station and catch one of these buses. Green Live from South End, Melissa Martin, Carolina's News Connection.